chairman of Mead County Council, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to talk to the Chinese people and to welcome them into the county. County Meath is a county of about 1,000 square miles. We're situated just to the north of Dublin. So we're regarded as a commuter county in the greater Dublin area. We have a lot of people who live in Meath, but who work in the capital city. Um, our population at the moment is about 200,000 people. Uh, so that would be very small by Chinese standards. <laughs> but in Ireland, we are one of the larger local authorities. Uh, and we're a county that's growing. Uh, there's always great pressure for more and new development in County Meath. So we have the people here mm -hmm. uh, and what we are doing, working very hard on is to try and get enough jobs and businesses into the county so that people can work locally and avoid having to commute into Dublin. Uh, so that's our, our main focus. The principal uh, advantage that we have is we're very accessible. Um, we have running through our county, we have four motorways. Uh, we have rail running through three corridors in the county. We're right beside Dublin Airport, so it's possible to uh, get to Dublin Airport from almost anywhere in County Meath in less than one hour. The other advantage that we say we have is that among all the commuters who leave our county every day, we have some very skilled people. We have a high rate of people with uh, university and third level qualifications. We have a high number of highly qualified management people and we have a high number of skilled workers. So we can provide a workforce, we can provide convenience, we can provide accessibility and as I say something that is important for companies coming in we can have them at the airport and back in their own country or abroad in a very very short time. As you know, Ireland suffered a downturn between 2008 and 2012, Tom, and more. Yeah. And, more. Yeah. Um, and during that time, we used the opportunity to have a look at County Meath and how we were performing and what we were doing. We looked at our strengths, we looked at our weaknesses, and we developed a strategy aimed at creating more jobs in County Meath so that people could avoid commuting. We launched that strategy in 2015. That strategy uh, works on a number of levels. First of all, we have increased our cooperation and our interaction with the state agencies. So we do a lot of work with the IDA. We do a lot of work with Enterprise Ireland to attract uh, foreign companies and indigenous Irish companies to come here to County Meath. We do a lot of work with our local companies. Within County Meath, we have about four and a half thousand businesses most of them are very small, uh, but many of them want to expand and increase the number of workers that they have. So we work very closely with them to help them with reskilling, to help them with grants for their businesses, to encourage them to expand. Uh, the third area we looked at was looking at some financial incentives uh, to get people to come uh, and set up in County Mead. So uh, our business rates, every business in Ireland must pay business rates, we have kept them consistent. We have not increased them in 11 years in a row, so we've kept them very, very low. We have introduced incentives for companies who pay their rates early and pay on time will get a reduction in their rates. We have looked at our what are called planning levies, which is a new company who is developing and building, must pay a contribution towards the cost of services such as roads and water and wastewater and so on. So we have reduced them right down to make us competitive with other counties in the region. And finally what we did was we engaged with business people around the county and we looked at who the business leaders were. And we said, these people have been there, they've done that, they have a lot to offer us in terms of advice. We don't know everything, we never pretend that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we brought on board a number of very uh, high-powered business leaders who are in business in Meath or who have connections with Meath or in some cases who just happen to live in County Meath and we brought them on board to advise us on our strategy and how we should be delivering it. It's been very successful. Yeah. Um, we have just published a mid-term review of the strategy that shows that under every heading we are on target. Well as I mentioned we do a lot of work with IDA. 
and really attracting those big international companies to consider Ireland falls in the first instance to the IDA. They're the ones who are abroad, they have their offices all over the world and they are trying to attract businesses to come in the first place to Ireland. But when they get somebody interested in Ireland, that's where we step in. Not just us, because other counties would be looking for the same business. But we step in and we try and make life easy for the IDA. So we organise visits for them. We make sure that they have all our information. We have all our sites identified. We have all our services develop, uh, developed. We know where the power is, where the water is. So when IDA bring a company in, we have done so much work with IDA that the comp they, they like to bring the companies here to County Meath. Now it does help that we're on the fringe of Dublin. That helps um, because a lot of companies want to establish in Dublin or close to Dublin and we have the advantage of being close to Dublin. So in the case of Facebook, Facebook came here, they were looking for a site close to Dublin. We had a site that we could identify to IDA. The site was available. Mm -hmm. uh, the site had all the services that Facebook needed. It was big enough for their needs. It was in the right location. We then met the people from Facebook and we try and have a very personal interaction with companies when they, they come here to meet us. So we would have met the guys from Facebook mm -hmm. and you know brought them here, uh, talked to them, showed them County Mead, yeah. told them what we can offer. And as I say, it's not really. We, we do give financial incentives by way of reduced levies uh, and reduced rates. But that's, companies will say that's not the main thing for them. They will say that's nice yeah. and it's nice to get that. But it is the collective feeling that they're in the right place and they need to be in the right place. It's our job to convince them of that. Well, we have, we're part of Ireland's Ancient East. So we do a lot of work on the national stage with Falch Ireland, uh, working with them to deliver that whole brand that is Ireland's Ancient East. Within that, uh, we joined forces with our neighbouring county in County Louth, close to you, right. right here, look. Right. Yeah. And we worked with them to develop uh, a brand called Boyne Valley. You see yeah. Boyne Valley, yeah. you see it here. And Boyne Valley uh, focuses on the River Boyne, uh, which rises actually in County Kildare, but only a little bit, runs through County Mead and into County Louth where it enters the sea. But if you take a journey along the River Boyne, mm -hmm. you can see the entire 5,000 years of Irish history played out in a very, very short uh, yeah. location. So from the great um, uh, Newgrange, the great tumulus at Newgrange, which is older than the pyramids of Egypt, right through to the battles that took place in the 1600s, which were of European importance, the Battle of the Boyne, um, which is still celebrated and, and remembered uh, today, through to the time when the monks and the Christians came here and they wrote great books, like the Book of Kells, uh, the Normans who came here in a different period and built the great castle in Trim, a big defensive castle on the edge of the Pale. You can, as I say, in the space of a day, travel through 5,000 years of Irish history. Uh, so I'd encourage everybody to come. We have been attracting some Chinese visitors. I think yeah. there are about 50,000 Chinese yeah. visitors to Ireland at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully a lot of them come here. But the introduction of the direct flights now to Beijing, I think we see that as a huge opportunity and we look forward to more Chinese visitors coming here. First of all, we have a number of companies based here in County Mead who have been doing quite a lot of work in terms of uh, trying to access the markets in China, mostly around food. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Epicom is a very, very good example, based here in Navan, who have been developing business links with China around the area of uh, infant formula and milk powder and so on. It's very important one for us. We were very fortunate that just up the street from here, mm -hmm. we were able to attract a Chinese company, MRI Nutrition, oh. who are currently building their premises, almost ready to go. Okay. I think in the first quarter of next year, uh, they will be ready to occupy that building and create, I think, about 50 new jobs uh, again, using Irish milk powder for export mm -hmm. uh, to the Chinese market. Mm -hmm. So it's slow at the moment, it's, it's quite low level. Uh, we understand how long it takes to build links with China. Yeah. 
Um, it's, a, it's a slow process, it's a very thorough process, it's about building up relationships and we're learning this as we go along. We have a twinning relationship with the Chinese city, that again, it's in its early days. They have come here on one occasion and we have gone to them. Okay. But we see links building there and that being expanded on and uh, we would be open to considering economic links uh, with other Chinese cities yeah. if, if it suited both. It has to, yeah. to work for both parties. And we keep a constant uh, contact with the Chinese embassy here in Navan. Mm -hmm. I think we're, we've made some friends in the, in the embassy yeah. and we, we want to keep that up. We were honoured to have the Chinese ambassador visit us yeah. earlier this year for the Festival of Lanterns, which oh, was okay. a really nice event. We were delighted that he came here and he stayed and had dinner. And uh, I think out of that, friendships have developed. So we see China as a very important uh, future market China and Asia generally, but China I think in particular. Well, first of all, think about Ireland. It's a great country. It would be fantastic to uh, get more Chinese companies into Ireland. It would be fantastic to encourage more Chinese tourists to come and visit Ireland. Um, so you will get, if you come to Ireland, you will get all the help you need from the agencies to help you to establish. First of all, from uh, the IDA, uh, the Industrial Development Agency, who will encourage you to come here and help you with that. Uh, from Enterprise Ireland, mm -hmm. who deal with food companies in particular, and who were responsible for bringing MRI here to, uh, to County Meath. You will get all the help you need when you get here. We will be very happy to see you. We will work with you through planning, through uh, getting your building, through helping you to get your employees. We will work with the agencies who can help to skill your workers and upskill your workers. So you will get a complete service if you come here to Ireland. I feel that uh, the opportunity is here now for uh, a major investment by the Chinese into Ireland and particularly into County Meath. We're on the north-south economic corridor between Dublin and Belfast. We have a rail service, we have a motorway service and we have 25 minutes access to Dublin Airport and we have Drogheda Port as well which is quite a busy port. So, And then we have Dublin Port on the other side of us. So we are well situated uh, for further investment and advancement and employment opportunity. We have a young population in this county and it's great to have that and they're all highly educated and uh, disciplined people and they're hungry for work so we need that and I think there is great cultural uh, work between the two countries and the two traditions and I would love to see that develop further. Thank you.